Hello friends, uh, today we are going to discuss about one of the most important concept in UI path that is data table. Okay, so what is in this video, the agenda of this video is I am going to explain about what is data table, what are these use cases, what is the type and few scenarios uh, I am going to explain. Here uh, if you type data table in, in the activity panel pain uh, sorry activity pain you will get uh, close to 15 activities on data table okay so here what i am going to do is i am i'll cover a uh, few few scenarios in in uh, uh, as as a part of the video so uh, i'll completely i'll cover i'll make three videos on this uh, so i don't want to miss anything at the same time i don't want the video to be very lengthy okay so in this uh, video I am going to cover how to build a data table, how to add multiple rows and uh, how to start the data table and how to clear the data table and uh, uh, how to display the data table okay and uh, in next videos I will cover this for each generating the data table, look up the data table all those remaining scenarios I will cover in the next videos okay so uh, I have a one small exercise for you uh, actually uh, I am learning different different languages so uh, I want you people's help here. Um, I want to know um, how uh, how do you say UI path is very good in your local language? Okay, so my local language is Telugu. So here in Telugu, we will say like UI path chala bagundi. So we will say like UI path chala bagundi. That means UI path is very good. Okay. So I want you people to uh, mention in the in the comment section how do you say UI path is good. Okay. So that I'll I'll come to know different different languages. That is my aim here. Okay. Here I'm I'm giving some knowledge. At the same time I want you people to uh, give me some knowledge back. Okay. Uh, please mention in the comment section. Uh, so that I, I can I can come to know uh, which language it is and how do you speak okay so maybe in the uh, future videos I I'll I'll try to use those small small words from different different languages okay so yeah please uh, mention in the comment section if you like my video please subscribe to my channel okay so let's go back to the actual scenario here so here I have taken a normal sequence so what I'll do is First, I will build a data table. So, sorry, sorry. Actually, um, this is our agenda, right? So, what is a data table? Data table is is a very simple thing. is is a two dimensional uh, way of showing a data. Okay. So, if you take uh, if you ever see the table in the uh, database, how you will see? You will see the column and the rows, right? Similar way, data table is also will have that uh, data. It's a structured arrangement of data in a columns and the rows okay so that is a data table and where it is useful it is very very useful uh, in built data type provided by UI path is uh, mostly when you when you're working with data based database reading from a excel file csv file web uh, all these scenarios you will lose this okay but the type that we'll see in the uh, while executing our actual scenarios okay so let's go back to the scenario okay so what I am doing is I am pulling this build data table here. So here you can define the actual type. Okay. So they have given few things, but let me delete everything so that I can explain it clearly. Okay. So click down this place is asking for what is a column name. Let me give ID. Okay. And the type as int. Okay. Then uh, let me add one more column. That is something like name. Okay. Name string type. I have given this okay I click done okay so now this data table you have to create a data table here that is what I am doing here is I'm creating it control K DT okay so this data table got created okay which is an empty data table okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the data to it okay so add data row is how you will add the data okay so here uh, you have different different ways of adding the data okay it's asking for array row and data row okay so what i'll do is in this first i'll explain about the array row 
then i will talk i will go to the next one and i will dev i will define this data row okay so let me take this here i am creating this enumerator type this and i'll take ravi okay and to where you want to add here i am adding the dt okay so uh, so our data row has been added to it how you will see it okay so let me pull one component which is output data table okay but uh, here let's give this existing data table and output as let me take as str string okay so once i got this what i am going to do is i'll display this message box so you must be wondering what is the purpose of this output data table okay i'll explain it so simple output data table is is the component which will convert the data table into the string okay so once that got converted you can use it the number of ways you wanted okay so let me execute this so you can see data table got created and one row has been added okay so here uh, let's go to our scenario we have covered this one if you have any doubt in this please mention in the comment section so that i can explain it very clearly okay these two i have these two i have covered now in adding a data row there's a one more thing is there okay you must have observed here that is uh, data row okay so what i'm going to do is let me create one variable that is dr okay so uh, uh yeah let me go here and those data type as take as data row okay data row so i have created this done good so here i have asked if i said like what is the type of the data table said we will see in the scenario right so you can see the type is data table type okay system dot data dot data table where you will get this uh, particular type okay now i got this now i want to add the data to it what i am going to do is uh, here i will assign it assign take this assign put it here um, yeah i'll maybe i'll put it here okay fine so dr i will as I, i'll take this and here what i'll do is dt dot first i am going to assign a new row to it okay so new row once i assigned it now i have to okay no row was there this is an empty type okay what i am doing is let me um uh, let me copy this data row and paste it here let's see how the data will come okay instead of this what i will do is i'll keep this data row okay that's it let me execute it and let's see how the data is coming so here you could see one empty space was an empty row was created that is separated by comma why it is coming is we have added this data row but we have added this data row here but that is there is no data in it now we need to assign the data to it okay so what i'll do is dr dr what is the what is the column that we have created column one is id right so id value let me give three then again assign the value now let me execute and see how the data is coming so three comma space should come because there is no data for another one okay so oh, oh what is the exception given by the got invocation okay i think we need to define one more thing here i guess let me do one thing let me take this one as well the out of name i think we need to give one more let me take it as Karthik. Okay. Okay. Now let me execute it. Exception drawn by the target of invoc drawn by target of invocation. So what is an exception here? The out 
the draw the L of column. I have added this value. Draw is equal to this one. Column is equal to this one. I am I one second. Let's see here what is that ID and name. Correct only. ID name DR of name DR of ID. Uh, no row go here now dr dt the output of the table string list here yeah, uh, give me one second let me see why the issue is coming okay let me pass the video in the meantime hello friends uh, here uh, this is where we stopped it so let me execute it one more time so so we got the data actually uh, let me keep one here we got this but actually why that exception came is uh, here we need to convert this into uh, uh, we need to convert that into the string okay so what I given okay if you would have given like this let me tell you one thing so it came properly now uh, so here uh, our, we are here right so it is integer right so uh, that's where that issue happened now you can do like this if you have uh, if you don't want to get into issue sometimes it is throwing an issue sometimes it is not so or if you don't want to do that you can use like this okay so it will convert that into the uh, uh, integer type that is an issue so we have we have added the data row and the output data table and we displayed okay so what else we did we did these two now let's see uh, one more thing that is a clear data table let's see how it is coming okay data data table data table okay so let's see what is that clear data table does where is that look up uh, which clear data table yeah so let me give here so what it does usually is it will it will clear that particular database that's it it is it will have that element but it will clear the entire data in it you can see that structure is there but the data is it's been cleared completely that means data has been removed completely that is the purpose of clear data table okay so there is a one more thing um, what is the one uh, one more thing that we are going to discuss here is sort data row okay so let me take this sort data so it's a sort data table okay so let me uh, keep it here okay so here what it is asking is what is the input data table uh, let me give dt as the output data table let me give as uh, dt1 okay and what column or uh, what index you want to order the things okay so let me let me give the column column name as id okay let me give in the descending order so yeah what else is a minute okay do one thing let me give it here okay so here what i'll do is dt1 okay so let me see what is that data is coming so you can see even though we added one ravi first and the three kartik in the second we we got in a reverse manner because we have used this uh, id and we use descending order okay then you can use the same thing for name as well okay let me execute it you can see how the data is coming so these are the topic that i want to cover in this video in the next video i'll cover a few other uh, activities here okay so if you have any doubt please mention in the comment section so that i can explain it even more clearly and if you want this workflow please subscribe to my channel and uh, mention your uh, uh, email id in the comment section so that i can send this workflow to you guys okay 
so if you found this video useful please give it a thumbs up for this video and please subscribe to my channel for more learnings on your path thank you